You had been really begging him to come back, to work on things, to mm -hmm. go to church, to let's do yes. something. Let's try to yes. make this right. We got a child here. I absolutely did. Nothing worked. You filed for divorce in October of 12. Mm -hmm. How did he react? At first he was devastated and upset because he said he only wanted one marriage. He was angry, but he signed the papers. Did you think maybe he would wake up? I did for sure. Really, until he was arrested, I was holding out hope that he was going to come back to us. And I think that's why I chased him all over with our child. I felt like if he could see her and see me, that he would want to come back and do things right. So after you filed for divorce, you thought, still, someday he's going to realize what he's giving up here. Right. And I honestly think it was more for my child. I wanted her to have her dad. Mm. I didn't want her to grow up in a divorced home, so I kept chasing for that. You describe him as turning dark. You didn't really know dark until you started mm -hmm. asking for like child support. Yeah. What happened when you asked for child support? He was very angry. He called my work actually, and he told me if he could not see his daughter, then nobody else could. And then he said, if you do not help me and give me money and help me out financially, he was going to put my family's names in a hat and start taking things himself and it would be the grand finale. At that point, I was very scared. He's now making specific threats against people you love. Absolutely. And that I was a different texture to you. It was. This was different. It felt very real, like he would actually hurt my child or hurt my family. So you say it's time to get a restraining order. Right, okay, yeah. Okay, you do. And not only is he not going to pay you child support, he starts demanding you give him money to stake him to get back on his feet. Yes. You didn't do it. I didn't, no. How did he react to you turning him down? That's when he would call and leave voicemails on my phone. This is Sean trying to get some type of communication to visit my daughter that I just paying child support for and haven't been able to see. So I was wondering if I could see her or if you wanted to try to give you child support money back. You know? What do you want to do? Yeah, I'd rather see her. But what would you rather do? Okay? He was angry, he would text me angry things, and then, yeah, that's the main time when he blew up like that, yeah. yeah. June of 14, he's at your house. Mm -hmm. You guys are wrestling on the bed. Mm -hmm. What happened? We were just kind of playing around, and I was kind of like over top of him, like holding his arms down, and he flipped me over on the bed and pushed me down into the bed and put his hands around my neck. Instantly, it was scary. I've never felt fear like that before. And I thought, oh boy, this is bad. And something in his eyes changed when he was looking at me. It wasn't funny anymore. He was, it was almost like he was trying to scare me. And so I said, Sean, this is not funny. You need to get off of me. And he kind of smiled at me and then let me go. 